Hey guys, my name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to part 3 of the Artificial Intelligence series. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys something that looks a little bit like this. So what we had was our guy would go and shoot at us. But now, he's going to start chasing us once he sees us. And then once he's close enough, he'll stop chasing us. And if we get too close to him, he's going to retreat a little bit. Because he's a shooting guy. Anyways, well, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is go to the bad guy and we're going to go to the step event. We're going to be working in here pretty much the whole time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag a set variable into this little bracket here and we're going to set the variable active to 1. Now what happens here is once it's, it's unblocked then it'll set the guy to active. If you don't know what's going on here then go ahead and take a look at Artificial Intelligence Part 2 because we go through all this stuff in that one. And this is building off of that tutorial. Anyways, we're going to set the variable active to 1 here and then we're going to check if active is 1. We're going to start a bracket and say start moving towards object guy.x and the object guy dot y speed of let's say three now this already will work then this is pretty much tutorial one and part one and part two put together so we'll have the guy running at us and shooting but he'll run right up to us and then kind of stand on top of us and that's kind of awkward so what we're gonna do is we're going to check if variable point distance x comma y comma object guy dot x comma object guy dot y is smaller than let's say 100 then we're gonna start moving towards the guy and then we're gonna copy and paste that and put it in here and then if the distance is what that was, that was supposed to be larger, by the way. I'll quickly swap that. Um, if it's smaller than 50, then we're going to put in a retreat code here, but I'll do that in one sec. This should be larger. So if, he's, if the point x, y is more than 100 pixels away from the guy x and the guy's y, then he will start moving towards the guy. But if he's closer than 50 pixels then we're going to go like this object guy dot x minus x actually we're gonna say x minus that and I think this will work yes this will <clears throat> alright so we're gonna do x minus object guy dot x and y minus object guy dot y and then we're gonna check relative what this will do is rather than moving towards the guy it'll move to the opposite of wherever the guy is so pretty much he'll retreat if he's closer than this now there's one problem here and that is now the guy will the guy will chase you and then he'll stop and then he'll still retreat but if we do something like this he's gonna stop behind the wall and he won't be shooting at you this is not what we want so we're gonna go in here and before we did this code so that if he can see him blocked is zero and if he can't see him blocked is one so we're gonna go and we're gonna check if variable blocked is equal to zero then it will do all of this else we're gonna do something else so what happens now is he only does this code if he can see the guy if he can't see the guy then we want him to step towards him no matter what no matter how close or far away he is so this this now all the move code should work fine and it looks like it does now he'll chase you and then he'll shoot at you he'll retreat great now that that is a good bad guy but there's one kind of problem is when he's going around the wall He's looking in a weird direction. So we're going to take this and we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it in here. 
and then we're going to delete it from up there. So what happens is, once the guy's activated, if he can see the guy, he's going to look at the guy. Whether he's retreating or whether he's not retreating, because he'll be shooting the whole time. But if he cannot see the guy, then he's going to set variable image angle to direction. Now when we run it, a guy will be, bad guy will be standing there, he'll be running at you, and then he'll go and he'll face the direction that he's heading around the wall. This is a decent working bad guy. This is how I'll often code my bad guys in my games um, when it's a top-down shooter. And platform shooters get a little bit more complicated, and I'm hoping to be able to work through some of those in the future. Other than that, this comes to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned a bunch. Now, I really wanted to, to put in a pun about a point I was going to make or or maybe the direction I was heading with future tutorials, but I couldn't think of any way to do that, so I apologize. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.